Now, today we are discussing about the new chapter Sexual Sexual Reproduction in Flowering Plants Sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Already we have discussed what is meant by the reproduction. Here reproduction means the fusion of male and female gametes to the formation of new organism we call it is a reproduction. Already we have discussed in previous chapter reproduction in organisms what are the basic points of reproduction. What are the basic events of reproduction? But here in this chapter, we will see brief explanation of the events of sexual reproduction. So first, in the flowering plants, in the flowering plants, sexual reproduction sexual reproduction Se in the flowering plants sexual reproduction is discovered by the scientist Camerarius the scientist Camerarius next sexual reproduction in flowering plants which first how to form the flowers In a flowering plants, that means particularly it is the angiospermic plants. The angiospermic plants, some of the hormonal and structural changes undergoing a development to the formation of floral primordium. Okay. In angiospermic plant, in angiospermic plant, some of the hormonal and also structural changes and also further development to the formation of floral primordium. This floral primordium bears floral buds floral buds and then flowers and then flowers next now first uh, we are discussing about flower already first year we learn flower structure So first, the study of flowers, the study of flowers, we call anthology. The study of flowers we call anthology. Next, the largest flower, largest flower. Rafflesia. The largest flower is called Rafflesia. Smallest flower. Smallest flower. What do you call? Wolfia. The smallest flower. What do you call? Wolfia. Next. In the flower, Producing the pollen grains, right? The flower, particularly it is the stamen to produce in the pollen grains. So, in the pollen grains, so the largest pollen, the largest pollen, largest 
pollen grain mirabilis not just a pollen the name we call it is mirabilis so how much is present inside is the 250 mm diameter next uh, smallest here yeah, smallest pollen gland smallest pollen gland we call meio surface this is also 2.5 to 3.5 micrometer next longest pollen gland longest longest pollen gland we call zostera longest pollen gland we call zostera largest largest ovule we can see in the cycas the cycas plant we can see in the gymnospermy plants okay so flowers are found so the study of flowers we call it is anthology the largest flower we call it is the rafflesia and smallest flower it is bulbia the largest pollen we might uh, mirabilis jalapa that is 50 micrometer in diameter and the smallest pollen grain we have study is and longest pollen grain jostira and the largest ovule okay this is the largest ovule the largest ovule you can see in the, the cycas plant this belongs to the gymnosperms next step plus what are the basic structures present in the flower already in the first year so what are the main basic structure that is basic parts are present once you can see here so first here see 
in the flower structure this is called pedicel pedicel so here the pedicel at the tip region the presence of a swollen or half displaced structure this is called thalamus thalamus and next in the flower what are the essential organs what are the non essential organs the essential organs such as androecium the essential organs first is the androecium androecium consisting of a group of stamens a group of stamens this is the main reproductive unit in the flower next second essential organ of the flower this see is called gynoecium the gynoecium consisting of three parts this one the basal bulged portion the basal bulged portion this is called ovary and long elongated structure this is called style and style at the tip region the purpose of this part stigma okay this the three parts together we call gynoecium so first one this is the essential organ of in the flower first essential organ androecium this is the androecium androecium consisting of stamens so this is the first essential organ and this is the second essential organ why because these are called essential organs they are participating in the fertilization they are participating in the fertilization process so that's why we call it is a essential organs in the flower second one non essential organs non essential organ means uh, first one calyx 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 consisting of sepals next second one corolla second one corolla so the second one we call it as a corolla this that means a cap this corolla it consisting of petals this calyx and corolla we call non essential essential organs these are another part it is accessory organs so the corolla you can say they are in the different plants different colors are present so that's why the petals are attracted to the insects okay for pollination and calyx it is protected to the inner parts of the flower so in the flower essential organs non essential organs how it is order wise is present in the flower 
so they are four circles outer circle is calyx that means uh, in the flower the first circle of the flower it is called it is the calyx the second circle of the flower we call it is a corolla and third circle of the flower it is called it is anthocyte that means production of stamens the fourth circle of the flower this is the inner side the presence of the part we call it is a gynocyte so these are the main parts of the flower next actually this flowers where it is arranged so this flowers are the formal primordium first producing the inflorescence in flowery sense inflorescence means what the arrangement of flowers on the peduncle we call it is inflorescence the inflorescence to produce in the number of flowers that's it next in the sexual reproduction in flowering plants we are discussing about first pre fertilization events and structures that means same as usual previous what you are discussing in the reproduction organisms there are sexual reproduction in the three phases that means the events are three phases first one it is the pre fertilization events second one fertilization third one post fertilization events in that first pre fertilization events pre fertilization events in the pre fertilization events what kind of structures are found here so in the pre fertilization events how it is gametes are released that means male and female gametes are released and we are discussed in pre fertilization events means uh, the process of fertilization prior to fusion of gametes prior to the fusion of gametes means to release in the both male and female gametes that process we call it as a pre fertilization events in the pre fertilization events first uh, in the main part we are discussed male reproductive unit male reproductive unit in the male reproductive unit what we are discussed the male reproductive unit means in the flower what do you call androecium that means the androecium producing the a group of stamens a group of stamens so first uh, okay stamens after that we are discussing the micro sporangium and uh, pollen grain so these are main reproductive unit parts first in the stamen first in the stamen 
what are the main parts are present what are the main parts are present so this is the stem the stem and consists of two different parts the stem consists of two different parts first one filament and the second one and the now what is meant by here filament filament means a long slender slender means very thin a long slender stalk that means really long stick like long slender stalk like structure we call filament this filament at the tip this filament at the tip the presence of bilobed structure bilobed by means two so how it is two are present you can see here here this is the one lobe this is the another lobe the filament at the terminal region presence of bilobe this is the one lobe this is the another lobe bilobe structure is called anther so anther inside what is present the anther inside what are present these are pollen pollen grains pollen grains so how to production of pollen grains we will see in this topic pollen grain inside the male gametes are produced so male gametes means is a yeah the one of the reproductive gametes in the male reproductive unit so pollen grains are produced next first we are discussing about the and and okay so we are very long just the iron is present please first of all you have to draw after the next